Trenton. Hello. Hello. Let's see. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Welcome back to the stream, man. You uh, you free to go? You're not busy at all, right? Not busy at all. No, sir. I got your full undivided attention. Yep. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Where are you from exactly, if uh, you don't mind me asking? I'm, I'm from Cali. You don't have to say if you don't want to. Yeah, I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And and is and that's where uh, that's where you got converted. That's where you converted to to Islam. Yep. That is so that is so strange. I know. I see. It's like because I see, I don't I don't really hear about a lot of I never hear about Tennessee Muslims. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much of them around here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I... Before we continue, please make sure you have subscribed. Also, hit the like button now and leave your comments, it helps us improve our algorithm, so that this video will get recommended even more. Please do it now, don't delay, these simple things help this ministry grow. Thank you, and God bless you. Shimonian! What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Sorry, what yeah. What you doing, man? You just no, I'm, I'm recovering because today was my cheat day again, and... I have too much MSG to kill an elephant. <laughs> you have too many cheat days, Sam. No, I don't. Stop hating. I don't know. You see, you got to get, get, get you on these, man. Get you some protein drink. <laughs> Just that. So next week, gun, Tuesday and next Tuesday, I'm aiming for my other cheat once a week by the grace of Jesus. So stop hating. What's going on, buddy? Just give me a link. What's up? <laughs> nothing much, nothing much. So um, talking to our friend Trenton. He's uh, what, been a Muslim for about three months. Trenton? Trenton. T-R-E-N-T-O-N. Okay, what's yep. up, buddy? Been a Muslim for about three months. Uh, well, right? No. Hmm. Been a Muslim about three, three months. months. Three weeks. Three oh, weeks. Three weeks. Oh, yeah. wow. What happened, Trenton? How'd you become Muslim, my friend? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, three weeks. So now we're, we're talking about some things that he has uh, when it comes to Christianity, some objections. And he's talking about, you know, textual criticism and uh, Bart Ehrman's view and stuff like this. Wow. So uh, I just understand you're appealing to yeah. Ehrman selectively because if you're appealing to Ehrman, then you would not have become a Muslim, right? It's um not that I'm just like trying to follow him as like a cult leader or something. I'm just seeing what he has to say on um, the Bible and everything. Okay, but even with Ehrman, if you're following him, even as an agnostic atheist, his <laughs> conclusion is because I have his books. I I quote him. I've done sessions on. What he claims as an historian, you can objectively know. And he claims that it is a fact that Christ was killed. This is in his book, How Jesus Became God. I have it with me. Mm -hmm. And he says it's a fact that Jesus' followers, and he mentions Mary Magdalene and Peter, two, just two. He mentions them. They had visions that convinced them God raised Jesus physically to heaven, and Jesus reigns as God. So if you follow Bart Ehrman's conclusions as quote unquote an objective historian you don't get islam so why did you become muslim um i heard someone explain it to me this way that since the quran says that um it was made to look like jesus was crucified you know and that you know you're you see someone being crucified and you write it down as they're being crucified so but it's, the quran says jesus's followers are muslims so if peter was convinced God raised Jesus from the dead. That means Peter was convinced God killed Jesus, and now he's alive as God. So how do you square that off with the Quran? If the Quran is right, are you saying Allah deceived Peter into thinking Jesus was killed and was raised and now reigns as God? He saw it. Yeah, Peter saw it as he was being killed and raised. Yeah. But... No Muslim will agree with you. A Muslim will say you're now an unbeliever because according to chapter 3, verse 52, and chapter 5, verse 111 of the Quran, Jesus' followers were Muslims. For you to say, Peter, who's supposedly a Muslim, was convinced Jesus was killed and now raised physically and he reigns as God, you just blasphemed the Quran. Uh, not exactly. No, read chapter 3, verse 52. Yes, exactly. It's in your Quran. Read it. Chapter no, 3. Because it, it, Muslim, you know, we all know Muslim means submit, one who submits to God. How do we know that? What? How do we know that? Because you said we all know that. How do we all know that? I mean, that's, I mean, y'all are um, 
apologist against Islam, especially. Well, how do we know that? Because you spoke on behalf of all of us. So you, who've been a Muslim for three weeks, you're educating us. So how do we know that? Educate me, because you've been only a Muslim for three weeks. So educate me. It's, how do it's we know what that? What the Arabic word means is Muslim. How do you know that? What it means? Do you speak Arabic? No, but if you're taught what a word means and you're taught the definition of it, then to repeat By it. Who? Who? Who taught you that definition? Because see. You went with what certain people tell you, and you took their word as gospel truth. But then you made a judgment call and rejected the claims of others as false. So by what criterion do well, you use to determine something's true or not? I didn't see anyone rejecting that's what Muslim meant. But I feel like this is going a bit off topic, away from... No, we're coming back to the apostles, which you claim. So now I want you to quote to me any Quranic statement or Hadith where it says that Peter who was a Muslim, according to your Quran, was deceived into thinking Jesus was killed and raised from the dead, and he started worshiping him as God. Can you show me that in the Quran or the Hadith? Because you said, yeah, Peter, it was made to look to Peter that Jesus was killed. You said that, so I want the evidence. Yeah, but I don't believe that Peter saw him as God or worshiped him as God. I just said that it's what he saw. That's what he saw with his eyes, that he saw Jesus being so crucified. Reject Thurman? Because you appeal to Ehrman, because that's what you said. Ehrman says that's what Peter preached. Historically, using the historical method, historical criteria, you can demonstrate the disciples like Peter, Mary Magdalene, worship Jesus as God. So are you saying now Ehrman's wrong so we can put him aside and we can go back to the Quran? Sure. Okay, so uh, just we got on the record. He's not going to appeal to Ehrman anymore because he just rejected well, Ehrman. I can still agree with what some of these says about, because he's a scholar on the textual criticism he's also someone who's done histo historical inquiry on what the first christians taught and the reason why he's a textual critic is because textual criticism leads him to know what the text says in order to make inferences on what happened historically hmm. so can we agree we're not going to quote ermin anymore so we can put him aside Um, yes, sir. Because so, I'm, I'm going by your authorities. I'm using Ehrman because he's an authority for you. He's not an authority for me. But if you agree, forget Ehrman. He's full of it. Let's put him aside. Let's go to your Quran. I'm sure. just going to meet you where you're at. All right, sure. Okay, so we agree now. Forget Ehrman. Ehrman, forget about him. He's on cloud nine somewhere. Maybe he's doing too much shrooms. Okay. All right. So <laughs> coming back to the Quran, you... <laughs> No, I'm just being honest because I'm going by what you're telling me, right? You told me he's appealing to Ehrman, so I'm going by Ehrman. Yeah. So now we can agree, forget Ehrman. All right, I agree, let's forget Ehrman. So as a Muslim, when you studied the Quran, what led you to accept the Quran as true over against the Bible? I'm just curious. What is it about the message of the Quran about Jesus that made you think that it has the right message of Jesus? Um, I ex 